Hello everyone and welcome to this Age of Empires 2 Achievement Guide. This is going to be going over Church Sanctuary, which is the final mission of Thoros. It's sort of turncoats and traitors. The achievement itself, Church Sanctuary, basically means you can't lose any of Tarsos' villagers at the beginning. Now, there is a couple of things that I should note. First off, this achievement does not pop until you actually complete the level itself. That's the main first thing. Second, if you are just jumping into this level, a few spoilers for you, I know, big whoop. <laughs> first off, Reynold, or Blue, your ally, does turn on you. He does not come to your aid. Second, this entire village that you see here, of Tarsos, including the castle back there, just to note something, you lose it. So that basically means it doesn't really matter if you lose any of the archery ranges, the barracks, the seed workshop, university, whatever it may be. Just as long as you don't lose the castle. That's the main thing. Now, personally speaking, I imagine what you're supposed to do with this achievement. It's to sort of micromanage, so to speak. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to micromanage these people and, and keep everything going. Uh, me personally, uh, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Mainly because it's fucking annoying. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to place one fortified church at the gold mine, one fortified church at the entrance here. All these do is just soak up the damage. They do nothing more. I'm also going to get Thoros, I'm going to place him. The Byzantine troops are preparing to attack my prince. They will soon reach our walls. Yeah, essentially I'm just going to place all the villagers, the mule carts, etc, etc. All of them are going to go next to the dock. That's their, that's their job. That villager just got out with that one. Didn't totally forget about him, I promise. Right. Now I know that you lose all your gold. It's an annoyance. But when I clear off these attacks, I'll, I'll tell you what happens. Or why. It's not really that important, shall we say. So we're gonna build a mill out here so we can get as much space as possible. And now that everyone. Oh no, the villagers are still not there. There they are. Right, when the villagers are all safe, I'll basically explain some things. So, first off, these fortified churches, right, all they do is purely act as a distraction. That's it. You gotta remember, the village is not important. Or, as long as you don't lose that castle, that's all that matters. Second, you're only gonna really make ca uh, not cataphracts, uh, pikemen and skirmishes. Now, the reason being is that they attack with knights, cataphracts, light cavalry, and crossbows. So, what you wanna do is counteract that perfectly. Now, don't get me wrong, Compass and Bowman are actually quite decent at just sort of holding off the area because they come from this area with trebuchets, they come from here with trebuchets and they might come from here with trebuchets. But as you can see, all the villages now are next to that dock, right? So what I'm going to do is build a fortified church there. Exactly there. My knights will be slightly delayed by the rough terrain they must cross. I have a bad feeling about this. Reynold is a turncoat. Trusting him is risky. All them happy. As you can see, the fortified churches, all they do is just take the beaten. Buy us some time, that's all they need to do. Oh, 
No, that's built. You do want to keep an eye on this as well, because if, especially if they break through this area, which they are actually in the middle of doing. Obviously, kill trebuchets as much as you can, just for obvious reasons. Although this one, for whatever reason, isn't attacking, it's just watching. Right, end of that, back, so back the troops up. Safe on that side. Yep, Trebuchet is stuck in the archery range as expected. Now, one little bonus that you have here. Why is nobody going to? Come on. Come on, Pathan. Wake up. End of that. End of that. End of that. Nice. I'm back inside. One thing I would note though is that uh, fortified churches are absolutely garbage. I'm, I'm not even kidding. They are so bad. Right, unfortunately Tarsus Tower's down. And the villagers are getting attacked because they're too stupid. Back up, back up, back up. Why is that not attacking them? I don't understand. For whatever reason, the fortified church is just not shooting. <laughs> no idea why. Right, they're fine there, they're fine there. There is a crap. Actually, I might have to send this unit here. They are properly aggressive now. Again, they can attack the fortified church, that's absolutely fine. Perfect. Again, the fortified church, whatever reasons, isn't shooting. I don't know whether that's a bug or not, but... Still lost no villagers, so that's pretty good. See, that fortified church is shooting. Start fighting. Skirmishers do not get the job done as it turns out. We'll have to get these guys involved. Again, that fortified church still not engaged in anything. Do they need a relic inside? Dude? Is that is that why? Ah, oh, we've lost the relic. I mean, I could, could make a monk to pick him back up, because we do, we do need that gold income. Actually, no, there's a minute left, never mind. They get it anyway, because they captured the city. They have properly took over. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. 
That would be nice. Right, thank God for that. Right, we've done it. Fortified Church was a good blockade. As you can see, the the sort of act like a distraction. But the Byzantines have paid me handsomely to betray you. It was an honor to fight at your side, and it will be my pleasure to cross swords with you again. The Franks have backstepped us, and the city is lost. We must escape by sea. <laughs> And there you go, that's it, that's, you lose the entire city as you can see. All the villagers get converted to Tarsos. Get in crossbow. There we go. Right, so what do you do? I'm not going to complete the entire level because it does take time. Uh, but obviously the achievement pops. refuge with one of your brothers. But be careful. Celtic marauders roam the countryside. The achievement pops when you complete the level. It sadly doesn't just pop now. Even though I've done everything that I need to. I've lost no villagers, etc. Now, my best advice, head to yellow. Red sort of acts as... I wonder. Actually, I'll be able to show you. Right, so yellow basically, they tell you Steph Stefan went into battle, lost his entire army, and that's all that survived. So you get all these units. Red, on the other hand, is basically an economical resource. Personally, go with yellow. That would be my advice. So the first thing you want to do is deal with green. Again, it's a lot of crossbow archers, sorry, cavalry archers, a lot of hussars. So just simply pikemen and skirmishers, move a lot to blue, again they're knights, crossbows, same thing. Pikemen, skirmishers, compass of bowmen to soak up, some, soak up some damage, and then move your way into purple. You will also have the option to free Tarsos, which basically means you've got to destroy this castle. Uh, they replace it with the Rhone, so it's not your allies' castle. But yeah, other than that, the achievement should pop very easily. So yeah, have fun. Not out.